What's good, everybody? This is Generation 71 coming to you with part two of the Origins in depth guide Easter egg tutorial. <laughs> um, last time we left off, we finally finished the ultimate staffs here. We're showing you the gigantic robot trying to chase you here. Um, here, before I explain exactly what we're doing, you just I just want to let you know you do have to have all the generators on. I'm sure you'll figure that out eventually, but to get this part to actually happen, for these platforms to show up, you need to have all the generators on. I found that out through countless of hours playing solo. <laughs> but anyways, uh, essentially what this part here is, you want to place the staves, essentially these are the keys, into each of the robots. So uh, with the staff, you want to put into Freya, which is the far left one if you're facing the robots, and that's going to be on the church side. Um, this one right here, it's going to be Thor. This is going to be the lightning staff. And here I'm showing you Rabbit's view. So you can kind of see how to scope it out because if you're me, you know how hard it is to kind of scope it out all the way back from either the bunker or generator or two or generator three, hoping you get the right one. Here, if you just scope it out from this tank path, you can kind of tell where it's coming and then you can kind of either divert to generator three or just head straight to generator two. So. And here, this is going to be Thor's on the far right or far left if, you know, you're looking from the robot's point of view. This is going to be Thor, and you're going to want to put the lightning staff in here. Um, yes, it has to be in this uh, specific order. We When we did this very first time, like this part, not the Easter egg, but this part, we did it exactly like this. So I guess we just got really, really lucky. I'm not sure how, but we did. And then, of course, the middle robot that everybody loves and has died to so many times <laughs> it's gonna be the wind staff so that's odin the very last staff the fire staff will actually go below pack a punch and that's essentially raining the we're well, not raining the fire but in the process of breaking the seal and you'll see here the magical show that shows so um, once you take the fire staff you just put it right here when every other staff is there you can put it there first too that's up to you so yeah, and then you see the magical, magical rave show, yeah. So, um, from here, now you want to break the seal. To break the seal, you will need to have the Odin Bomb. So, that little tablet you picked up from in the tank bunker, so outside of Generator 2. Um, you want to take all the way over here to the church, and you want to put it into this holy water. And you melee zombies to kill their souls and, you know, pretty much feed or cleanse the tablet with the souls of the damned. I love saying that. Um, with that, I just want to make note that with this part and the part when you take it back to the tank bunker, you can't do it with any melee weapon, so you can do it with the punching ability, you could do it with the upgraded staff, um, hell, you could do it with the riot shield if you really, really wanted to. Uh, the thing about it is, and here I'm showing you that once you have the tablet, you have to actually not touch the mud all the way back. So if you just follow this path, it's usually the quickest and it'll get you there guaranteed. But the thing about um the melee weapons in this game is you will need the punching ability for a later part of the easter egg so if you can do the boxes asap i recommend doing it asap because if for that later part i've tried just killing them with the staffs killing them with upgraded guns or whatever and you can kill as many zombies you want and you ain't gonna get a damn thing so you do need unfortunately that um the punching ability and it because it gets kind of hard because not only do you need a, a certain amount of zombies at all four boxes and then you need a melee at you know the the church and you need to melee back at you know the tank bunker outside of generator two and not to mention you need do need to kill a certain amount of zombies to actually upgrade the fire staff right, technically it's a riddle so i mean you only have so many zombies to work with and if you want to do this low round then you know, you definitely gotta have some plan. And I still have this theory, like, I swear, every single time the freaking robot steps on the box, it resets the souls. Uh, I'm sure everybody's gonna be like, no, bro, no, you're, you're totally wrong. But I, 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 I've kind of had, like, video proof, kind of, sort of, not really, but... Um, essentially, maybe it's just varied, I don't know. But here, just kind of showing you the process of actually mailing them here in the bunker. It gets... A again, you don't need all four people to do this because every tablet will be one set of Odin bombs. So if you just have one person get the tablet, take it over there, melee, maybe during a round, and then bring it back over here, melee during a round, or everybody else is doing their thing, it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, sure, it could be faster with all four people in one area, but it's also more dangerous. So if you have a good team that works well together, <laughs> well, good to you or good for you. But if you really just want to counting yourself and do that and th that's how the Odin bombs look and here um, so I'm going to show you what you have to do with the Odin bombs you have to have one person 
actually in the robot hitting the button that has appeared now it doesn't matter it's each three of the robots and win this part all three robots come at the same time the gist of it is only one set of a uh, one foot opens up every single time and it's you know it's random so once you set the button you just throw the old bomb over to the seal it's right by stamina you'll see here kind of sort of it's right by stamina up and then all these uh, missiles will go here now this is actually possible to do it in solo as well it, it's very 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 like nitpicky but it's possible now from here you want to set the Maxis drone to go investigate this area and this is where we get a magical surprise Yeah, and this is where you get the magical souls. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, if you haven't noticed by now, the all these steps are technically steps from Reznov's escape from, um, I forget, where was it? Uh, honestly, I'm not going to say it just because it's too early in the morning. But here, you just have to kill all these guys that release from the hole. And if you have upgraded weapons, if you still have the stabs, because you don't need the stabs in the crazy place to do this part, um, it's really not that bad, because, I mean, you go right there, um, you just shoot them in the head with an upgraded weapon, and if you have double tap, it's even better. But it's a pretty, pretty simple thing. <laughs> and then here, one of our friends, we were saying, kill them all, and then they, were, they mistook that as kill the zombie. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> and... I think, I'm not sure how much in total spawn, because I know there's the original four that spawn, but I think two spawn after that, it, it's kind of weird. I've seen kind of multiple different versions, because I've kind of, I remember only seeing five before, and only killing five before. But then sometimes it'll just be six, sometimes it'll just be four. But from here, then you want to get the zombie blood, because you have to kill the winged beast. When you're in the, uh, you can't see it in theater mode, but the plane that you need to shoot down will be exactly as you see it for the red staff. It'll just be only in the zombie mode. And here, I know a lot of people said that when to kill the zombie, you need to use it with the fire staff. You don't. You can kill him with a pack a punch weapon, a regular weapon. It does not need to be with the fire staff. So I, I um, proved that wrong when I did the solo. But once you kill that zombie, then you get the Maxis drone. But it's weird how that happens, because when you shoot the plane down, then the zombie just falls out of nowhere. And he kind of blends in, so you really don't know it's him. I mean, sure, he doesn't attack you, but then again, he had the zombie blood, so who says he wouldn't attack you? But from here, here's the part where I was saying that you actually do need the upgraded um, fist for, or you need, you know, the fist melee weapon. It's not upgraded yet, technically. And here we got all scared. One of our teammates was fly fleeing because of the freaking Bioshock zombie. I don't care if it's a panzer. But once you melee enough, you will get one of these uh, tablets. Again, they look just like the tablet you you know we're trying to cleanse and it will give you an upgraded fist and then from here and then i know this is a little fast forward just trying to fast forward to the part it gets interesting then you just take these upgraded fists go back to the crazy place and you start meleeing like crazy so but with this one you don't actually need to melee them i, I know it, it's kind of weird it says wield the iron fist but we've had like recent accounts of people saying that you just need to kill them with anything so it could be a staff it could be whatever um you can try pruning for yourself i have yet to do this you know in solo and i've tried it myself to see if the souls were still going into the orb above the crazy place um just with regular staffs or just with pack a punch weapons if you want to be safe and if you're doing the solo or if you're doing it low round i recommend just still meleeing because it's a safe bet we know it works because we're doing it right here and yeah i mean you essentially just do this for a while it doesn't take too long and it, it gets a little iffy especially with the rocks still coming down but it's really not all that bad but i mean while we're waiting here guys i just want to thank you for all the support i mean i know it took me a little bit longer to take out this side of the easter egg but i just wanted to make sure i had all my information right and i still try to get that information you know for the meleeing weapons for this part but i like to prove it myself and if i can't prove it myself i don't like to take on other people's accounts so that's why i'm giving you both sides but anything i could verify i did verify and yeah i hope this really does help you in the end it's a uh, as far as easter egg goes it's definitely one of the more complicated ones one of the more tedious ones as far as i guess what you expect from it it kind of sucks because you don't get any reward for it besides an achievement and as well as the ending kind of messed up a lot of people i mean i feel like i s wasted four years of my life now <laughs> but like i said i will come out with a video about the ending at a later date i still have a lot of other projects to come out with
And, oh, this part, as you see, the generators being taken. It doesn't matter at this point if the generators are taken. Frick the generators. If you're just going to go for the end game, just be like, okay, we're going to be here. We're going we're gonna to see this through to the end. But, um, yeah, thank you all for your support. Again, we were one of the first people live to finish this. And then, yeah, once you finish the Easter egg, or once you get enough souls into the top, then it's over. Then you get that magical orb up here. And that's why I said if you could do the Easter egg solo, it would be the best strategy for high rounds. But here, to get the end game, all you have to do is let Maxis go into this um, this area right here. And then everybody, they say everybody needs to stand in there, but I don't know if that's necessarily true. But alright guys, I think I'm going to cut it there for now. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the end game, even though you guys have already seen it. And yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Love you. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe if you already have it. And yeah, this has been Generation 71, and we'll catch you guys later. As the gates to Agartha opened, the four heroes were rewarded with riches beyond imagination. From that day forward, they knew that Samantha would keep them safe. Forever. You're getting everything wrong. I told you before that her eyes should be blue. It's my turn, Eddie. I can do whatever I want. But you don't even know how to play properly. Girls don't know enough about zombies. What's the choice of my children? Make sure the windows are locked before you come down to the basement. You'd better do what your dad says. I didn't even get my turn. Tomorrow, Eddie. You get to make the rules. I promise. Come on, Fluffy. I wish the heroes in our stories were real, Sam. I know what you mean. But we will make everything okay. My dad says he has a plan. <laughs>